So there are certain trends with the naming of polyatomic anions that we're going to go over. But first I want to talk about um, the polyatomic cations. Now there, there are more than what I have shown here. But for our purposes in general chemistry, we're only going to talk about two specific ones. That's the mercury-1 cation, which is Hg2 2 plus, and the ammonium ion. That's NH4 plus. Now, again, these guys behave as one unit. So, if we have, so this right here, this, it stands for, we have two atoms of mercury, like this, and all together, they're, they're bound together, okay? They don't like to be, they're not going to be separated, and all together, this, this whole unit, this one unit, has a charge of plus two, okay? Likewise, with the ammonium, we have one atom of nitrogen and then four atoms of hydrogen, like that. And they're all clumped together as one unit. They don't come apart. And they all behave as one ion that has a charge of plus one. Okay. That goes with all of the polyatomic ions. So now let's look at the differences in the names of some of these guys. We have the nitrate anion, which is NO3 minus, and we have the nitrite ion, which is NO2 minus. Now generally, you're gonna whenever you see eight it usually means that you have more oxygens than ice. And you can see that that's the case here. We have NO3 is 8 and NO2 is ice. And both of these have a charge of minus 1. Now sulfate and sulfite, they have uh, the, the 8 has 4 oxygens and the ice only has 3 and each of them has a charge of 2 minus. Now, with the, now these are the ones, this is, you know, based with nitrogen, and this one is with sulfur. Now, chlorine also has a bunch of, has uh, polyatomic ions with oxygen on them. And, as you can see here, it could do four different ions. Now, in the middle here, we have the chlorate, which has three, and the chlorite, which has two oxygen. And now we have these other ones here. We have perchlorate and hypochlorite. So if you think about Greek, the, the Greek language, hypo means below, right? Like if you're hypoglycemic, then you don't have enough sugar in your blood. Um, I think. <laughs> so, you could think of this as being hypo below chloride. And per, we could think of that as hyper chlorate. So, if you're hyperactive, you're overactive, you're above active. So, you have hyper chlorate, which has as many oxygens as it could have on it. Then below that, you have Chlorate, which only has three, chlorite, which has two, and then hypochlorite, which is below that and only has one. And then, of course, what happens when we lose all of the oxygens? Well, now it's, it doesn't have the H or ite, now it just has the I, right? Because that's a monoatomic ion. So we default to the, the monoatomic naming conventions for that. And we discussed that in, in previous videos. So, okay. Here's something to take note of. Nitrate has three oxygens on it, but sulfate has four oxygens on it. Chlorate has three, but that's not like sulfate. 
So you can't you can't say oh eight so it has to have four octuples on it. No, it doesn't necessarily do that. And the only real way around that, if you don't have a table on you, is to just memorize these different polyatomic ions. Um, and also, you can't tell just right off the bat um, what the charge is going to be on each of these. But if you look, all of the ones derived from the chlorine, they all have minus one. All of the ones here derived from sulfur, they each have minus two. Same thing with the nitrogen. They each have minus one. So there are certain trends you could remember. They're not too hard to remember, especially with these three groups. Uh, that'll, that'll help you out. Um, and of course, it, you usually are going to have a, a table of polyatomic ions to go off of. So, uh, but in case you don't, then this is you know, a pretty easy way to remember that. And I, I can't stress enough how each of these behaves as one unit. So when you're talking about ionic compounds and ionic reactions, when this uh, comes together with this, it's these two atoms, these two HGs, mercury, which all together have a charge of 2 plus. Well, when they get together with one sulfate, Ion, which is SO4, so we have S O O O O, and that has a charge of 2 minus. So when they get together, then we have, you can just imagine those two sliding together, and the charge gets down to zero, right? And so to write out what that would be, we would write Hg2, because that's the cation, and then SO4, like that. So we're going to do a lot of examples with uh, polyatomic ions in the next video.